Okay, welcome back to Juro3 YouTube channel. This is the um, third, second rotator in the series of four um, rotators that I'll be disassembling for a customer. This rotator's part number is, as you can see there, is E1581. And the end at the very end, I'm not too sure that's appropriate, but whatever. So we'll get this all stripped down and um, see what surprises we have on this one. The last one was, uh, had some surprises. That's how it goes. So well, I like doing this. You have a surprise. Okay, we'll just get the... Uh, I haven't actually touched these at all, so... And thing I did do was just clean that number up so I could actually see what number it was. Okay, what have we got in here? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is just cut these wires off, save a bit of time. It means that I can see what wires were going where. And then I'll be, when I redo it, I can just look at the back of the, the socket and I can know what was where. And I'll push those inside. Turn him over. While we got him upside down, we might even remove the three screws, the, three, the four screws for this, for the um, the base plate. We might get that out of the road if we can. One less thing to do, I suppose. I didn't go. There we go. Get that out of the road. Have a sticky beak down in there. Looks quite clean in there. Well, good. It's upside down. So the next thing we'll do is remove the uh, weather seal. This one's in really good condition compared to the last one. Okie dokie. Righty odie. So let's remove our six bolts. Noise maker again. This one's actually looking not too bad inside. Yeah, even the outside looks pretty good. I don't think it's had much use, but we'll soon find out. Okay, now we've got that. As mentioned before, we have the wedges coming through into the, the drum at the outside. So we grab our two jeweler screwdrivers, just small jeweler screwdrivers. We put them down inside of here retract the brake wedges at the same time oh, maybe I should have tried releasing this there we go it was a bit, a bit sticky I think bearing so grabbing so we'll try that again take two thank you get back in there a little mega so I'm lift it up now right here no Oh wow. Well. Bearings going everywhere. Yeah, this grease is in uh, a bit worse condition. And a bit drier too than the previous one. Grab my hook screwdriver, move it back a bit. Let's move that out of the road. As you can see there, it is a lot more stickier. And move in front of the camera would be good and even harder to get off here. All of that, it's yep, yeah, yeah, okay. So, this has actually uh, gone off. It's just I've seen it worse than this, but it's actually quite toffee like. Okay, let's get these bearings out of here and we'll move forward. This is a stripped down video to, to see what I need to do. Oh, I'm sticking up here, yeah, it shows you how bad this is. The grease is just. It's, it's really sticky. Oh, that one there. It just that, that just fell out. It's like yick. The bearings themselves don't look in bad condition, but here's what it is. The last one's a pain. And we have an escapee down here. Okay. There's one lot of bearings. 
Yeah, they just don't move, move much, roll much at all, do they? Get that crap off there. Flip it over. Freight wedges move in and out quite easily, so which is a good thing. And the top is a totally different colour, grease. More of a yellow colour. The other one is sort of a really terrible colour. This is it's still gone a bit dry, but nowhere near as bad as the bottom. The bearing flux you wanna he actually wants to sort of roll. Okay, there's only two in there. Inside of that's in really good condition. Okay. Over there. Let's get rid of these bearings and move forward. Oh, come back here. Get in there. Yeah, I, I, this side's getting a bit stickier. Yeah, the bearings, everything looks in. Ah, there we go. Now it's getting sticky. Ugh. It's actually a different colour on this side. It's actually that's sort of an orange colour, and the other side's like a yellow colour. Like as if one side is where most of the heat is in there. Now they're not as hard to get off. Yeah, it's like the sun's baked the grease on one side of the rotator. What's the difference in the colour? That's quite yellow. This has gone to an orangey, lucky colour. Okay. Well, is what it is. Excuse me with my allergies. Ugh. Okay, righty righty. Now, change tips. Need to get our, our, our number three screwed up a bit to remove the, uh, the top screws. At least this plate come off better. Okay, okay. This will be cleaned up. Mighty yaddy. Now, I'm not going to get caught this again. Let's see if we can. Got caught last time, and it was a real pain to leave this up a bit. Ah, oh, the shaft stayed there this time. Good. Want to do as it should be done. Last time, did the whole all the shafts when they come out in one go. It's not what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to push you down. I need this shaft to stay in place and then if all the stay in place that wouldn't be a good idea. Right up. Leave it up the other side. Bendy screwdriver is a good little thing. Good for getting these off. So the whole idea now is, is you meant to get this gear up and out. All the sharp ones come with it. I would be putting, fixing these shafts in position so it doesn't doesn't come out like that. So at least it's still spinning, but only just. Yeah. Okay. Gear tray. What are you adding? That grease is so sticky. Yuck. Now we can get our end of rotation ring out or limit ring. Okay, okay. That into there for the big cleanup. Okay. Okay, Doki. Oh, at this point, it might take these other things out first. 
make it easier for myself. Change tips again to the number. Stop moving so fast. To number two. I'll remove these. Get this out of the road. This is the uh, limit switch assembly. Activates the limit switch. And the next one holds the limit switch in place. And this whole thing looks fairly nice inside, so it hasn't right hasn't uh, had an ingress of water or anything else. Let's see how tight this is. Aha, this is tighter. Okay, the last one was way loose. And the actual, the actual uh, locator bit on the top of the potentiometer had been snapped off. So we get the, uh, yeah, he looks in good condition. Get that out of the road. Now I need one of my uh, grease. Let's see if I can actually undo. Need those pair of pliers, that's what I need. They have a they have a flat blade screw in them in the actual potentiometer and they can be a pain to get out because you tend to slip and go strapped to your finger. But oh, I've got that one. So we'll get that out of here. What right on drive gear. Take all the paraphernalia off, put him back on there so we can sit in one position all together, I should say. So let's now get this part off, leave the gears and the in there. Righty, ready. Grease is um, hasn't gone off 100% yet, but it's getting there. I oh, know. Might move the rest of the gears. Oh, these gears are all in really good condition. I know that this rotator's in a lot of use. So I can get that shaft out. Okay. Howdy, howdy. Hasn't totally bound up. I can actually move everything around still, which is which is a good thing. Not normal for these rotators; they're normally so badly gummed up that uh, you have a, a fight on your hands. Okay, let's uh, change to the Allen key head. It's a number six, I think they call these ones. Oops, sorry. What I did forget to mention? I did. I did that. I did that. I did that didn't I? Now let's make that come out, which is a good thing. As I mentioned before, sometimes these ones are really hard to get out. You can use like a breaker bar on a bar. Since okay, righty, righty. Let's see if we can lift this out. Righty, one motor assembly and the rest. This will all be stripped down. So I can clean everything up and then I'll be doing a few mods and fixing these shafts in here so they don't move because they wear these uh, the holes out and they start flopping around too much so that'll be one of the little upgrades I'll do this. Okay so here we go again. Let's take out look down in here. We take out these sort of V-shaped little dudes. We've got to take those out. So I should have changed to the tip again. To Phillips again, grab down the side, we've got a hand, that tight, got it, come out of there, that needs to be cleaned up, those in there and them in there, yuck, grease it. Ready, ready. Put those in 
There. There. Yeah, the whole inside of this looks in really good condition. Uh, allergies, allergies, allergies. Uh, okay, we're up the side cutters. We get down to the side where you push the actual little, I suppose you call it a little rod, and you grab, that's what I'm doing. There we can, there we go. You grab the back of the E clip, the pair of side cutters gently, and then just lever up. Because these things will go flying across the countryside. Not thinking what's happening. Put that in there. Then just push the shaft out. Pop the wedge out. Yeah, this has had hardly any use at all. Other side. Turn him around so you actually get to the back of the. To the back of the actual V clip. Take and grab it. Makes it a lot safer. You don't have the bacon shooting across everywhere when you try to lift out with screwdrivers. Okay, what well, fell out? Oh, gee, sometimes they put grease on these and they end up being stuck in there. Okay, let's get the wedge out. Oh, the, the solenoid, I should say. Solenoid and arms assembly. Yeah. Really good condition. You know, the whole, actually, the whole rotator is in really good condition. This one. Well, I'll do a clean up of this, and I will. Yeah, this whole rotator is in really good condition. I don't think it's had much use at all. Okay, and I'll be stripping. I'll be stripping this all down and cleaning it up. So. These are all just basically a dismantle up to this stage uh, videos. So I've got another another two to do. So I'll get them all up to this stage and I'll clean them all up and then I'll get back to um, the um, appraisal and seeing what needs to be done. Catch you later. Bye.